Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 20 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. Dash, and it will be given to you. Dash, and you will find. Dash, and the door will be open to you. Pray, hide, shout. Believe, cry, bang. Ask, seek, knock. Repent, dig, protest. The answer is Ask, seek, knock. Matthew chapter 7, verse 7. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Question 2. Be dash, therefore, as your heavenly Father is dash. Humble, humble. Holy, holy. Graceful, graceful. Perfect, perfect. The answer is perfect, perfect. Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. And if you greet only your own people, what are you doing more than others? Do not even pagans do that? Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. Question 3. In Jesus' parable of the shepherd of the sheep, the sheep follow him because they know the shepherd's voice, face, name, commands. The answer is voice. John chapter 10, verses 4 to 5. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognize a stranger's voice. Question 4. Who did Jesus say loved public greetings and uppermost seats? Sadducees. Pharisees. Scribes. Publicans. The answer is Pharisees. Matthew chapter 23, verses 6 to 7. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. Everything they do is done for people to see. They love the place of honor at banquets and the most important seats in the synagogues. Question 5. What did Jesus tell his disciples not to tell anyone about until after his resurrection? His teachings his miracles, his transfiguration, his identity. The answer is his transfiguration. Matthew chapter 17, verses 1 to 9. A bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my Son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. 
As they were coming down the mountain, Jesus instructed them, Don't tell anyone what you have seen until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. Question 6 Jesus said, If you love me, keep my dash. Traditions Sayings Promises Commandments The answer is Commandments John chapter 14, verse 15 If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to help you and be with you forever, the Spirit of Truth. Question 7 According to Jesus, who did the Pharisees build tombs for? Prophets Righteous Sinners Disciples The answer is Prophets Luke chapter 11, verses 46 to 48 Jesus replied, And you experts in the law, woe to you, because you load people down with burdens they can hardly carry. Woe to you, because you build tombs for the prophets, and it was your ancestors who killed them, so you testify that you approve of what your ancestors did. Question 8. In the day when Jesus shall separate the sheep from the goats, what will the king say to those on his right hand? Depart from me, you cursed. Come inherit the kingdom. Well done, good and faithful servant. I never knew you depart from me. The answer is, Come inherit the kingdom. Matthew chapter 25, verse 34. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my Father, take your inheritance, the kingdom prepared for you since the creation of the world. Question 9. Who are they that come in sheep's clothing, but are inwardly ravening wolves? Pharisees. Disciples, false prophets, heretics. The answer is false prophets. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Watch out for false prophets. They come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ferocious wolves. Question 10. How many masters can a man serve? Many. Two. Three. One. The answer is 1. Matthew chapter 6, verse 24. No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Question 11. Consider the lilies of the field, how they grow. They toil not, neither do they spin, said Jesus, encouraging his listeners not to worry about. Clothing Food Shelter Tomorrow's troubles
The answer is clothing. Matthew chapter 6, verses 28 to 30. And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Question 12. Jesus said, There shall not be left here one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down, referring to Jerusalem's palace, temple, synagogue, fortress. The answer is Temple. Matthew chapter 24, verses 1 to 2. Jesus left the temple and was walking away when his disciples came up to him to call his attention to its buildings. Do you see all these things? He asked. Truly, I tell you, not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. Question 13. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, dash them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Feeding Healing Baptizing Clothing The answer is baptizing. Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 to 19. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Question 14. The kingdom of heaven is like a dash who prepared a dash banquet for his son. Judge Buffet Pharisee Feast Tax Collector Reception King Wedding The answer is King Wedding Matthew chapter 22, verses 1 to 3 The kingdom of heaven is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his servants to those who had been invited to the banquet to tell them to come, but they refused to come. Question 15 what woman did Jesus say would be remembered for her act of kindness towards him? Mary Magdalene Mary, the mother Mary of Bethany Samaritan woman The answer is Mary of Bethany Matthew chapter 26, verses 6 to 13 While Jesus was in Bethany, in the home of Simon the leper, a woman came to him with an alabaster jar of very expensive perfume, which she poured on his head as he was reclining at the table. When the disciples saw this, they were indignant. Why this waste? they asked. Question 16 what precious jewel is mentioned by Jesus in a parable about the kingdom of heaven? Ruby Pearl Diamond Sapphire The answer is Pearl 
Matthew chapter 13, verses 44 to 46. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field. When a man found it, he hid it again, and sold all he had, and bought that field. The kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he found one of great value, he went away and sold everything he had and bought it. Question 17. Neither do they reap nor gather into barns. Who are they that Jesus was referring to? Bees. Flowers. Birds. The righteous. The answer is birds. Matthew chapter 6, verse 26. Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Question 18. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true dash, and dash whom you have sent. God Jesus Christ Son of Man, Everlasting King, Ruler Savior, Protector The answer is God, Jesus Christ. John chapter 17, verse 3. Now this is eternal life, that they know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. Question 19. What did Jesus tell Nicodemus not to marvel at? Miracles. Being born again. His teachings. His wisdom. The answer is being born again. John chapter 3, verse 7. Jesus is explaining to Nicodemus the concept of being born again or born from above. Nicodemus, a Pharisee and a member of the Jewish ruling council, was having difficulty understanding this spiritual concept. Question 20. What should a disciple of Christ do when someone takes away his or her goods? File a lawsuit. Seek vengeance. Do not demand it back. Report to authorities. The answer is, do not demand it back. Luke chapter 6, verse 30. Give to everyone who asks you, and if anyone takes what belongs to you, do not demand it back. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.